In this video, we are going to focus on the equation of a straight line and more how to find the equation if you are given specific data. You will find this on page 309 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. We learned that the graphs of linear equations in two variables such as y equals 3x and 2x minus 3y plus 5 equals 0 are straight lines. If a straight line has gradient m and passes through the point 0 and c, we can find its equation. Let p be xy lie on the straight line. So the gradient of c p m will be it's the difference in y over the difference in x. Okay, so basically, if I just put this over 1, put brackets, cross multiply, I will get this formula. Okay, by just adding c on both sides. So the equation is called the gradient intercept form of the equation of a straight line. Very important, maybe I can just highlight this form, actually in the names of the book, is a straight line so the name of the book is straight line to success okay so it's called and if it's in this form it's the gradient intercept form of the equation okay sometimes they call it also the standard form now let's continue the equation of a straight line with gradient or slope m and y is then this formula now let's look at the first example Say, for example, they give you one point and the gradient. Okay, so let's look at an example. Find the equation of a straight line with a gradient of negative 4, which passes through the origin. Now, don't forget that the origin is 0, 0, and there's the gradient m. So, since the gradient is negative 4, you can already sub substitute in the place of the gradient negative 4. If it pass through the point then you can basically just substitute that point and then the equation will be you get 0 it's y equals negative 4x. Why is it like that? Because because it's going through the origin. Okay so it's cutting the y-axis at 0 and that is why it's plus 0 because this is the y-intercept. Okay, the equation of a line passing through the origin is in the form y equals mx so the value of c will be 0 except on the x-axis y is 0 and on the y-axis um, x is 0. Okay, now, the next one, the gradient is 3, it passes through this point. So again, substitute the value of 3. If it passes through the point, so then, then x will be 2 and y will be 3. Then substitute that in the place of y and in the place of x. And then I just simplify and the value of c is negative 3. So y is equal to 3x minus 3. You can also do this method, okay? Um, I'm just going to focus on this one, but some students and teachers find this one more easy. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 10, just do number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. I'm just going to put this down because we're going to do this in the next videos. Okay. Let's start. Find the equation of a straight line with a gradient which passes through the origin. Okay, so let's start. Now remember the general form of the equation, or let's rather say the y-intercept. So it's mx plus c. So basically in the place of m, I'm just going to put, I'm just going to try to do it like this, and this is going to be negative 3 quarters x plus c, because the value of m, and let's just redo that, the value of m is negative 3 quarters. Okay, now I have the origin. Now, the origin, the point will be 0, 0. So that means the value of x is 0, 
the value of y is also 0. So in the place here I put 0, then it's that negative 3 quarters. In the place of x I put 0, and it's plus c. So if you multiply by 0, this becomes 0. So basically you are saying that the value of c is 0. So um, I think I'm just going to clean and not put the there for there. It's a bit small. And rather say the therefore here. So therefore, y equals negative 3 over 4x. And that will be my final answer. Okay, let's look at number b. Now, if I look at number b, and again I have to move these things. I'm just going to move it here. I will come to it. Okay. Then number B. I'm going to go for white. Okay. So the gradient is negative which passes through the point. So again, start with your general, not your general, your y-intercept. Okay. So mx, I'll show you now the general form. mx plus c. So I'm telling you that the value of m is negative 2 and I'm telling you that the value of C the value of C is 4 no not the value of C let's just correct that the point P is 4 and negative 1 that's going to help me to find the value of C okay so I'm just going to substitute now so it's going to be <coughs> y equals and now I substitute that negative 2 and I go with x plus c and now don't forget that this value of x is 4 and the value of y is negative 1 so if I'm substituting it it's negative 1 equals negative 2 and put my x and I'm just highlighting by playing around with the colors so negative 1 mm, let's just roll it make it keep it red okay so negative 1 equals negative 8 and it's going to be plus c so c is equal to 8 minus 1 because add 8 add 8 therefore or just the value of c is going to be 7 okay so did you see that? It's going to be 7. Okay. And after I do that, I'm just going to substitute. And in this case, I'm just going to use my ruler. and just continue here. So basically, I'm just going to now and say put in everything. So it's going to be therefore. Let's just put that. Therefore, y equals. And what's your value? It's negative 2 just want to get the pin. Negative 2x plus 7. And that is your y-intercept. And that will be the equation of this straight line with that daughter.